Hello! In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my Zero Shoes. What I think of them, what I've done with them. Let's get started. So I got these. These are the Mesa Trail Running Shoes by Zero Shoes. And over the past month, I've done a number of different activities in them. And I'm going to show you unboxing them, my first thoughts after my first run, wifey getting some Zero Shoes, the first hike, and more. Without further delay, roll footage. <laughs> Wow, these look really legit in person, babe. Yeah. What do you I think? Like the color. Wifey approved color, indeed. These are definitely more rigid than the water shoes. So I think these will definitely, like, feel better on your feet. Feel better on my feet. So I just got back from my initial uh, inaugural run in my first pair of Zero shoes. And I had to go a size up because the size 12s a little bit too small but i went to the 13 and they fit just like i imagined they would based off of all the reviews how people described them how people described they feel they definitely lived up to the expectations i would see comment after comment after comment on like facebook or instagram where people were talking about how excited they were how comfortable these shoes were after doing a mile and a half run, I gotta say they were really, really comfortable. I was really impressed. A couple of things that I noticed right off the gate, traction seemed to be really good. I was running in quite loose, muddy conditions. Running downhill, my feet didn't slide forward in the shoe, which is a pet peeve of mine. The heel was really secure. The little bit of what they call trail foam in there, I thought was really comfortable. It kind of took out the jagged edges of roots or pine cones, so I didn't have to watch where I stepped quite as much as I do in the water shoes. A wifey decided to give it a try, and guess what? They are in the mailbox right now. I didn't order running shoes or hiking shoes or sandals that Zero Shoes are known for. I actually ordered a, one of their sale items. I ordered some boat shoes. It was really inexpensive, a good way just to see if I like Zero Shoes. These are cool. They're a little more burgundy than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be all brown but I actually really like this color. Funny thing about Zero Shoes is I always notice that their colors look better in person than they do on the website. Whoa! What do you think? Comfy. Oh, these are like, okay, so I got a size up. Ooh, I do really like these a lot. Put them the other one. Yeah. Look at these. This lace comes from here. Yep. Up to here. It's kind of fun. So it cinches around the heel? Uh-huh. Initial thought. Um, they don't feel any different than like my stylish like moccasin shoes that I wear to work sometimes. Cause those are just flats, right? They're just flats, yeah. yeah. Uh, what I think I'm feeling. Uh-huh. I was saying it feels cushy, uh -huh. but I don't know if it feels particularly cushy because this is definitely minimalist. It's very thin and I can definitely feel the road. Uh -huh. what, I, what I said was cushy, it was more about the size of the toe box. Uh -huh. Like a lot of my flats uh, kind of squeeze my foot in. This is what you're doing. This is what they want you to do. <laughs> Any questions? These feel very wide in the toes. Yeah. and my feet are able to really spread out and so it's not that it's cushy but it's allowing my feet to do the thing yeah so do you like that yeah yeah and if i say yes will you buy me more foot <laughs> if i say yes will you buy me more shoes we're going to be hiking up a little side and it's going to be the first hike in my zero shoes let's go We're going up there! Woo! All right, so it is 801.
trail is a little less rocky here. How are your feet? So far so good. You do get a little bit punished if you stomp. Okay. As you can imagine. There isn't a rubber pad there to absorb the shock of you stomping a little bit too hard. Yeah. I don't know if the camera can tell, but it's not very bright in these woods. I can see perfectly fine. Well, of course you can. You can see in the dark. Yes. But I've lost the trail like three times now. I have to keep calling him back. Follow the sound of <laughs> like, my voice. The trail is over there. I'm like, no, honey, it's this way. The trail's this way, literally. Seriously? Yeah, it's this way. Dang it. Okay, <laughs> that is a case in point. You didn't do that on purpose, did you? No, I did not do that on purpose. Yeah, okay, so that makes time I mean, number like, four. This is obviously the trail now, now that I, now that I see it. This is, the, this is the fourth time you've gone off the trail. Honey, it's this way. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> I'm following you. <laughs> this is why I need my feet. <laughs> sum up, I did not film everything that I've done in zero shoes, from biking, to longboarding, to walking, to running, to hiking, to slacklining. The zero shoes have really held up to the test, and I'm really happy with them. They're really, really comfortable shoes. Um, I really enjoyed hiking in them. Soon, I'm going to do a comparison between the Zero Shoes and the Water Shoes, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to check out new Zero Shoes in the future, maybe get some sandals for this summer. If you have any questions or comments about the Zero Shoes, please leave those in the comments below. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Peace.